I'm sure if you saw that, but your coach was he's so he wants to win and wants you guys to succeed so much that he was he was tearing up a little bit there. Uh -huh. How much does that move you to see your coach wanting that the best for you guys? Uh, coach Malloy is one of those coaches that's easy to play for. You know, he's so passionate about his players and his defense that you know he takes pride in what he does and what he teaches us. So to see him acting like that and to see him how passionate he is about the game, it just makes me fired up more to go play for him. You had obviously the highlight of the game last week. Uh, can you take us through that play? Uh, it was just one of those type of things that I've been going through since for, I think six months. You know, a dream of mine, making one of those type of plays. But uh, I feel like the play wasn't something that you know was just going to happen versus Oregon. It was one of, those, one of those type of things that we've been preparing for as a team. So uh, I wouldn't just say versus Oregon. That was a big play, but I feel like those type of plays can come along the, uh, along the season. So. I mean, that's kind of like a, every kid's dream, though, mm -hmm. right? I mean, uh, had you dreamed about you know, an almost a 100-yard return there? I mean. <laughs> yeah, it was for sure a dream of mine. I was talking to my boys about that prior, you know, how it would just be a dream of mine to get a pick six, of course, 100 yards. But just to be relatively even close to that, to even score a score touchdown of my senior year of uh, college football, just a big thing for me. So for me to go do that and in it uh, in the game that way, uh, it was pretty big for me. So. What, what did it feel like when the ball's in the air? I mean, he kind of threw it right to you. Right? <laughs> It kind of felt surreal, you yeah. know, it was just one of those type of things. I really didn't believe it until it touched my hands, but uh, just another type, type of thing we prepared for it in practice. Coach kind of told me he's one of those quarterbacks that will throw the ball to you. So if we're in the right place at the right time, one of those type of things will happen. So. We saw you uh, talking to Kayvon Thibodeau after the game and some of those other Oregon guys. What was it like to see them and talk with them? Uh, it was just good rekindling with those guys. You know, they all know us loving, loving the game. You know, we're all competitors on the field, but when we cross those lines, you know, we're all going to play hard when we're on the other side of the lines. You know, those are my boys still. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, I'm still connected with those guys. Kayvon is one of my closest friends I have now. So uh, to see him to play like that in front of him as well, it was just big for me. So. How would you assess the defense has improved since week one against Hawaii to where you guys are now? I'd just say we're taking it step by step, you know. Uh, it's one of those type of things that we're developing as a, a defense. We're coming together as a defense, you know. If everybody could have a great defense, they would, you feel me? So we'll be out here, we're out here, we're out here on the daily basis, we're out here working. So I just feel like we're coming together as a defense as a whole. So, Coach Malloy talked about eye discipline. From your position specifically, what's the key to maintaining eye discipline? Uh, just knowing your job for the most part, just knowing what you're doing and being confident in what coach is telling us, you know. Keeping my eyes in the right place is kind of easy when the coach is telling you what to do and what to look at during those plays. So. You grew up around here and you, know, you went to high school around here. How important do you think it is for a school like UCLA to just recruit in this area and just be a big name in this area for? Uh, I think it's a big thing, you know, like staying in Southern California, getting those players in Southern Cali is just a big thing. I feel like Southern Cali has the best football around the world, so I feel like getting, keeping those kids that are coming from LA to UCLA is going to be a big thing for Coach Foster. So. How do you think it's different now than it was when you were young? Uh, obviously, NIO is a, a big thing, but I'll say like the difference is just how much coaches care. Uh, a lot of coaches actually do genuinely care about players here, and I couldn't say that about a lot of other schools. So for me, I feel like UCLA can use that as their recruiting tactic, showing how much coaches care and how much they do know about the game. The, uh, the numbers being what they are on third down, how much of that is also just fatigue? You know, obviously being on the field as much as you guys have been, how much is that taking a toll and how much is it just mental at that point? Uh, that's what we all signed up for. We all signed up up here to go play football no matter how many snaps or my, my, no matter how many plays you get. So I just feel like it's one of those type of things. I don't care how many snaps we get up there. We got to go th out there and play 100 snaps and coach wants us to play 100 snaps. That's what we're going to have to do. So, As you look at the defensive film, do you feel like issues are more pre-snap or do you feel like it's things that happen after the snap? Uh, I just feel like it's one of those type of things, playmakers make plays, and sometimes the ball will lands in your lap, and sometimes it falls your way, but I feel like our defense is developing, like I said earlier, and the, those type of things will come together as a whole. What have you seen on film about Penn State's quarterback and their receiving room? Uh, they're just an explosive team that knows how to play football, one of those type of teams, you know, who gets the right players, but just another team, another opportunity for uh, Bruins to go play. Is it more what you guys have to do and not worry about what they're, what they're going to do? It's what, well, I want in our process, not really worry about anybody else. So. Awesome. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.